Okay, so last time I discussed the, the basics of understanding how to get the description keys to read out, but now let's talk about using them, okay? So, for instance, uh, let me pan over here real quick and move this up here so you can see. Um, as you can see here, let's head over to the prospector tab. I've got five points in here and they all come into this point group called all points. I'm not concerned about the point groups right now. Um, and um, I'm going to go ahead and add some more points in here. And as you can see, I have a SWMH point. So let me come over here to my points, point creation tools. Uh, I need to move that down here. Let's take a look at what we got here. Point creation. I want my uh, prompt for elevations to be automatic. Let's just give everything an elevation of 500 for now, okay? And uh, I'll be—I want to be prompted for descriptions. So my default description is going to be none, and prompt for descriptions are going to be there as well. So I'm going to manually type in some descriptions, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead and. And you'll lay out some points. Let me move that up here. All right, so my first point, I'll drop it right here. This is going to be a natural ground shot. As you can see in my command line, it's asking for a description. So this is going to be a natural ground. And notice that it just comes in as an X with nothing assigned to it, okay? I'm going to type in another one for a manhole, an MH, and you're going to see that it's also an X. But then I'm going to type in an Another one for SWMH, because this is a different, my store manhole, okay? Or, or how about one over here for my fire hydrant, okay, FH, okay? So notice that um, these three points right here all look very similar. The reason is because... They, be, they, every point here that I have falls into the all points point group. So let me let me prove this to you real quick. Let me go to the all points and go properties, and we'll go take a look at the point list. You'll see that I have my trees, I have my natural ground, my manhole, my SWMH manhole, and my fire hydrant manhole. Okay, so obviously the manhole is incorrect, and I I don't have, the natural ground is just a point on a, on the ground. I don't need to have a block with it, but I'd like to see a fire hydrant as well. Okay, so let, let's fix these. Okay, um, I guess I could have fixed them there. So let, let's take a look at the, uh, the the properties of this, and I want all my points here to show description only. Notice that all my points in the description. I mean, I'm sorry, in the point group now adhere to that except the ones that have the description keys assigned to it. I'll explain that in a while. So I'm done with this. Let's, I think I've, I've, I, well, let me roll this up a little here. So now let's, let's take a look at this. So fire hydrant. Um, I, I want to have one for a fire hydrant. So I'm going to come right over here and I'm going to right click on any one of these and I'm going to either create a, a copy or a new. So I'll do new and I'm going to have for the description FH. I could do FH asterisk or just FH. It really doesn't matter. Okay. In this case, because I'm only using FH as a fire hydrant. And anytime that I see the fire hydrant, I need to check this on and then I can click this. I want to have a, um, where are you? Hydrant existing, and I'm going to click OK. And for the label style, we will choose to have a description only. We're going to force it to description only. OK. And so there's my fire hydrant. And I'm done with that. I, as, as you can see, the manhole is just incorrect. So rather than go through and edit, uh, create a whole description key, I'm just going to edit this manhole to read. Um, S, oh, S W M H. Okay, and I'll check that, and there we go. Now you'll also notice that so fine. You you've got this fire hydrant here, and if I were to come over here and drop another one right there, and you I type in fire hydrant, you'll see that oh look, it adheres to the description key, and it gives me the symbol for the fire hydrant. But why does it not 
work for the descript the the point that was already existing there well points read description keys upon insertion okay so when i inserted that fire hydrant it says oh i see there's a description key for it let me assign it to this point so what i'm going to do here is i've got a point in here that does it, that obviously is coded the way i want but it doesn't have the symbol uh i'm going to come back over here to my all points and i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to say apply the description keys notice that the fire hydrant and the manhole the, the swmh manhole the stormwater manhole when i apply the description keys they will now adhere to the the description key that that is in the description key uh settings okay so you need to understand that they are upon insertion where is this very useful that that little tip there is imagine i get a drawing from somebody and they have a whole bunch of points and symbols that i don't like what i do is i create a brand new drawing with my template that has all the description keys that i want assuming they have a very similar uh description key format or i might even have to create a few new ones i will then insert their block their drawing into mine and then i will explode it and then i will come back and right click on all points description keys and uh and go from there okay so it should update all those points as well now um let's see here i'm going to then talk about uh managing these points in the next part of the series and showing you what i need to show you all right so we'll see you then